Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby, pastor of St. Stephen Baptist Church, with another powerful point to ponder. We have all heard the very disturbing statistics about um, the state of our economy. This is, without question, the worst economic news we have heard about America since the Great Depression of the 1930s. And there's a great chance that it may get worse. We are in a crisis. So we, know, we need to know, since we are in a crisis, how the Bible teaches us to manage crisis time and to, in fact, um, be effective and triumphant even in the midst of a crisis. Psalm 91 verses 5 through 7 is a psalm, a story about a man who's experiencing crises. And I want you to identify as we read this, the three things that are coming at him. Three things. The Bible says about this man who's in crisis, you will not fear the terror of night. So it, he's a frightened. It's, it's terrifying. And, and these are terrifying days. The terror of night, nor the arrows that fly by day. So he's under attack by arrows. So there's a war going on. And he's in the middle of the war. And guess what? Arrows are flying all around him. In, addis in addition to arrows, look at the next verse nor pestilence that stalks, that stalks in the darkness. So he's got, he's, he's in a fight, an army against him. There's pestilence, uh, which means there's poverty and there's drought. He's facing all of this. And then there's something else, nor the plague, which means disease. COVID-19 would be considered a plague. And notice, all of this is coming at him at the same time. We are told arrows from opposing soldiers, enemy soldiers, pestilence, um, the absence of economic viability, and plague, which means something, some disease that could threaten his health. And it's all around him. And notice what it says, how it's affecting most people. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 by your right hand, which is to say that thousands and thousands of people are being wiped out by three things, the arrows, the pestilence, and the plague. And guess what he's experiencing? Terror. Because if all this is happening and you're looking around and all of these people are falling out and you're right in the middle of it, then guess what you think? You're thinking, well, I'm going to be next. But notice what it says. In spite of the arrows, in spite of the pestilence, in spite of the plagues, in spite of the fact that people all around him are falling out, it says, but it will not come near you. But it will not come near you, which is to say, while other people are being affected and being wiped out by it, this one man, because he knows how to handle crisis, it's not affecting him. Now, don't mishear me. I'm not saying that even when you do the best of crisis management, that things won't happen. But we can reduce things from happening if we act in wisdom. So during this time of crisis, which, in which things can get worse, might I suggest to you some things you might do? And I want to spell out the word crisis for you, and I want to give you these six things to do. First of all, C in crisis means right now, consider what you really need. Consider what you really need. Before COVID, we spent a whole lot of, on things we really did not need. We splurged. But right now is the time to simplify your life and ask yourself, do I really need this? There's a difference between a need and a want. And if you're going to stand during this time of crisis, you have got to see, consider what you really need. What are the essentials? R. Uh, refuse to live beyond your means. And the way you do that is by getting on a budget. A budget is an instrument in which you tell your money where you want your money to go. So you won't have to wonder where it went. It's managing your money, getting on a budget, sticking with the budget, writing out the things that you need before you go shopping, 
before you go to the grocery store so that it fits within your budget. C, consider what you really need. R, refuse to live beyond your means. I, crisis, we're spelling it out. I, improve your health. It is easy to stay around the house, eat, 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 and not think about your health. Think about your health, get to your, if at all possible, your ideal weight, eat healthy foods that are rich in nutrition, low in fat, and make sure that you get sleep, watch the cigarettes, watch the alcohol intake, work on improving your health. S, suspend all major projects. Maybe you were thinking about purchasing a car. Maybe you was gonna move into a new house. Don't do it. For pastors, for example, now is not the time to think, well, I'm gonna build me a new sanctuary. No, the church doesn't need to be. This is not those times. Suspend all major projects. I was spelling out the word crisis. Invest in learning new skills. You should be doing that right now because we don't know what the post-COVID economy is going to be like. We don't know what the post-COVID jobs are going to be like. And we have to keep adjusting to new realities and trying to learn new skills. And then the final S is what you know it should be, which is probably the most important thing. During the crisis, seek S, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness or its justice. Seek to fight for justice. Seek the things of God. Try to make this world a better world. Be informed. The word righteousness is really the word justice in the Bible. So seek the kingdom of God and justice, equity. Help to make our world a fairer, must, a more just world, not just for the elites and those on the top, what's called the oligarchy, but for all people. Seek first the kingdom of God. And if you do these things, when the arrows are flying around you, when the pestilence comes, when the plague comes, thousands and ten thousands may fall right by your side. But when it's all over, you look up and you say, I'm still standing. And God wants you still standing when the plague is over, when the arrows stop flying, when the pestilence has been completed and defeated. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, give us wisdom during these difficult days on how to handle this crisis. We trust your word that when the arrows are flying, when the plagues and pestilence comes, yes, thousands upon 10,000s may fall, but we can still be standing. Help us, O oh God, to do what we can and trust you to do what we can't. In Jesus' name, amen. Every day of your life, you should pray. Don't ever miss a day praying and always spend meaningful moments with the master. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of this powerful point to ponder. And as we say, every time we gather, stay safe, stay sane. And you will when you get the word of God. Stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. God bless you.